There we go. Okay. It's your recording, so I don't know if we can both record at the same time, but it's okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So, hello. My name is Isaac Kurtz. Uh, what's your name? Veronica. Or just... <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, so, today we'll be discussing hand sanitizer in the modern world and its importance to society. So, uh, as I'm sure you're aware, there's a massive pandemic. A um, virus has been spreading throughout the world. Um, a lot of people are infected and a lot of people are sick. A lot of countries are closing their borders and a lot of countries are actually slowing down trade. Or um, like Italy's, like the hospitals are just overflowing all because of this one virus. And now that people are actually like, now that's in the news everywhere, people are paying attention to it and I'm starting to take precautions. So may I ask if you're taking any precautions right now? Um, so I do my best to like, I'm still working actually, like I got a job at Walmart, so I'm considered like an essential employee, I guess there. Um, so I do my best to wear gloves. I hand sanitize between every transaction. I wipe down the, the card reader. I do stuff like that. Um, and then when I'm at home, I guess I just wash my hands more frequently. Um, and I sanitize the inside of my car, like once a day at least. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, Which is trying to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to keep up with hand sanitizer and soap as well. Uh, now it's my other question is do you have an essential job? I also have an essential job, so I'm like this week I'm out of the house six nights in a row. So mm -hmm. like yeah, we're out there dealing with this stuff like right right head on. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. um this illness is passed the same way other illnesses are passed, at least as well as uh, experts can tell right now, uh, just through touch and germs. And a lot of people are getting sick from touching their face or getting coughed on or just being around other people in general. So um, this is calling for precautions that people use for pretty much every other sickness. Just everyone has to do everything at once. It's kind of being hectic. But uh, you said you've been using hand sanitizer? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, may I ask what brand you're using, if you're aware? Um, so I kind of force between using, I actually have some over there. I use Germex and then sometimes I use the Bath and Body Works, like the little travel size ones. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you trust that it's doing its job well and it's like actually cleaning you the way it's supposed to? I know the Germex does. Sometimes I don't know about the Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers, but I've been using them for year years. So, like, I imagine they should be doing a good job. They just have really strong <laughs> smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, for my hand sanitizer, I have the Walgreens Advanced Hand Sanitizer. Um, on the bottle, it says it kills 99, more than 90, uh, Sorry, kills more than 99.99% .99 of germs and is making you less likely to both spread disease as well as contract it. So in these times, we're trying not to get anyone else sick, at least for me, more so than myself. Uh, so this will keep your hands clean and create sort of a barrier between you and the disease should you use it enough. Um, so would you say this sounds like an effective weapon against the virus or at least a good shield? I... I... Yeah, I think so. <laughs> like it's not like the end all shield, but like it's yeah. a good it's a good precaution to take. You should always wash your hands like as frequently as you can, but if you can't wash your hands, then yeah, use hand sanitizer. <laughs> yeah. So I know on my job we've been using a lot of gloves. Like we had like, we have to use gloves. So we've been going through those like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> So, would you be willing to purchase this hand sanitizer from me? I could probably use some more, yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, do you have any questions for me about any about my product or about anything? What What do you think makes your product different from all of the other hand sanitizing products? Um, well, mine is high in vitamin E, and it has... Uh, moisturizer in it so your hands aren't going to be dried out from using it so uh like a lot of people like i know my hands are dry just from the work hand sanitizer we're using it's basically like uh steel wool just my hands are so dry from it so yeah. uh this stuff actually has moisturizers in it so you're not going to worry about uh having uh dry skin or 
getting any rashes from it. Um, mm -hmm. It also is uh, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, yeah, it's flammable, so that's always good. Can you start a fire for any reason? <laughs> <laughs> um, but and it's also a very big bottle, so you only need to buy two of them for hopefully for the, as long as this is lasting. Hope you won't need to buy any more. Uh, so I know we have two and so far. Like as you can see, we've only used down to here. We mm -hmm. use it all the time. So there's three of us in the house. So um, yeah, I, th I think that would be a good reason to buy it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's also ch cheap and easy to purchase at Walgreens. The product for a cheap price. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any other questions? Oh, I'm trying. <laughs> Up with some because I feel like before I invest in a product, I should know everything there is to know about it. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> um, is there any like dye in it? Because I see that it's like, is it blue or green? It's some kind of oh, color. No, right? it's the lighting in my room. The uh, there's blue oh, okay. on the container. It's just a clear, clear sanitizer though. Yeah. So what there's no dye in it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're okay. Um, has um, uh, seventy percent ethyl alcohol in it. That's what I was going to ask is what are some of the ingredients? Yeah, it also has that? Uh, um, water, glycerol, glycerin, isopropyl, meristate, and um, some different types of acid, a fragrance, and benzophenone, benzophenone, so if there's fragrance in it, what would you describe the smell as? I'm sorry, what was that? You said um, you, when you were reading the ingredients, one of them was fragrance, right? Yes. So like, what do you, what would you describe the fragrance as? Um, it, very much alcohol. I would definitely say <laughs> it has a lot of alcohol smell in it. And it has, um, I think it's lavender. It smells like lavender a little bit. Okay, maybe there's like an essential oil that's where the fragrance is coming from. Yeah. Because some, sometimes they like put essential oils into hand sanitizers to make them less drying. Because I know you said it's a moisturizing one, so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any other <laughs> questions. That's all I okay. had. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. Uh, just as a, as a, I should say also you're being recorded just for any illegal reasons. I should also oh. say that. Um, <laughs> and in my conclusion, uh, there's. Nothing, full, nothing is foolproof, especially right now. With they're not entirely sure what this virus is or how it's attacking people. You now it's respiratory and stuff, but we just gotta do the best that we can. So my hand sanitizer is a very good item to have, especially if you need to leave the house for any reason, like you have work or if you need to go grocery shopping or anything. Mm -hmm. Um, so my hand sanitizer in general could be life saving. Mine is also going to be less irritating. So um. I'm not guaranteeing that you won't get sick, but I am saying that my hand sanitizer will bring your chances of getting sick way down. So just please remember to keep clean and keep sick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> Thank you, you too. <laughs>